So, I want to tell you a little bit of a story um, that actually begins in Berlin, Germany, which is happening up in the upper left there. Uh, I was spending the summer in Berlin, Germany in 2007 when a friend of mine from New York kind of emerged out of the blue to come talk to some people in New York or in Berlin about uh, co-working, which if you haven't heard about it, it's kind of an interesting movement that started out in the San Francisco area and kind of came to New York. The thing about me being in Berlin talking about this though is I knew nothing about co-working at the time, but I wasn't afraid to talk about it, you know. That was fine. So I started looking around about this co-working concept and, um, you know, there's places in Berlin that do this, San Francisco, New York. Um, Aaron over here started uh, meeting with some people at Starbucks over in Columbia. Uh, Philadelphia, Indy Hall, there's a place in Austin. And then last year we did something called Social Dev Camp here in Baltimore. One of the things that it proved to me, because I was one of the organizers, was that there's actually an active creative community in Baltimore that could support something like this. And there was really a lot of interest in the idea of getting creative people together to work together on a daily basis. So. After the uh, social dev camp that we had in May, and after actually spending a weekend in, with uh, Alex Hillman here in Vienna, Austria, because he lives in Philly, and we happened to be in Vienna, Austria at a friend's wedding, we did a session at Social Dev Camp 2, and the following Thursday, we had our first co-working session at Blue House in Fells Point with like 10 folks in attendance, and we've been meeting there for three months, twice a week since then. So we met with the notion of kind of putting together something more permanent in the long term, but we didn't want to do it until we had actually kind of been together for a while to prove that it would work. So last Sunday, this is all very timely, we had our kind of opening of the hive party where we assembled our desks and we put everything together. We moved in over at the ETC, which is at the Can Company uh, over in Canton. And I want to make a point, though, about this co-working thing. It's co uh, co-working, not co-working or cow-working. And these are, we kind of wonder what cow-working might be, maybe these things. But remember also, it's not executive suites. Beehive is all about the people that you meet. But enough about the history of co-working. I want to have um, some of our members tell you about what co-working means to them. So I'm going to be introducing Michael Nahorniak, uh, Robin Yesenow, and Mike Brenner to tell you a little bit more about what they've been experiencing at Beehive Baltimore. <laughs> So my name is Michael Nahorniak. I uh, live in Fells Point. Sometimes I like to wear funny looking neck warmers. <laughs> and I'm one of the co-founders of uh, Localist.com. So if you look at these people, they're in a coffee shop and they're all shy and reserved. They really look like they could benefit from some interaction, except for that oblivious guy over there. I don't know what he's doing. So you can see they're just kind of, you know, pretending not to look at each other. So these people are doing it right. They're bouncing ideas off each other. They're, really, they're getting some instant feedback on um, something they've been thinking about. So you can see that, and they have smiles on their faces, which I think is the key for co-working. It brings a smile to your face. So to illustrate it in another way, before co-working, you have a finite amount of potential, right? But then, as soon as co-working hits, when you hit full-blown co-working, your potential, it goes on forever. So here's Robin. So I'm an independent public relations and communications consultant who's been in business for six years. And I can tell you that creativity killer is, this for me, is static, day old, yeah. You want new input in the brain in order to have great creative coming out. And for me, the beehive is a creative catalyst. I'm surrounded by people who don't do what I do all day long. So I'm inspired. Uh, they can bounce stuff off me. I bounce stuff off them. It is uh, also just a great way to, you know, kind of riff off of the great energy that's created. And we have Mike Brenner. Hey guys, Mike Brenner. Top three reasons I do co-working. Uh, it's organic networking. It's not just here in Baltimore. It's all over. I first heard about in Austin, Texas at South by last year. It's global. It's, it's in Berlin. It's everywhere. Um, so there's a community just beyond the borders of Baltimore. It's great. Uh, second value again, accelerating serendipity, which basically means, coined by Chris Messina, another coworker, uh, things are going to happen at a normal rate. Coworking seems to accelerate that rate. There are these great things happening in Baltimore. I get to experience them every single day, coworking with, with all my peers. Uh, I'm a freelancer. I build websites uh, by myself, but I don't have all the amenities of the corporate environment. So having this co-working experience, I have all these amenities. I have the shared conference room. I have the peer feedback. Look, job security is an all-time low right now. Okay, if you if you've questioned going going solo, going you know going your own direction, now's the time. And you know we have we have the perfect place for you guys. So check out the BI. 
Absolutely. Thanks to everyone. Come by and see us sometime. We're at Suite 308 at the Can Company in Canton, and um, we really have something special going here. We're planning to expand a little bit in May, and we'll see you at the Beehive. Thanks again.